Hello everybody, welcome to the CSS3 course. Actually, when we want to join the CSS file to the HTML file, we have three ways to do so. The first one is known as the external style sheet. So suppose I have such an HTML file, and for this HTML file, I'm able to get this output. If I want to decorate the web page, I can simply open a CSS file, and then I can put the styles um, onto the CSS uh, style sheet, and then I can simply link this CSS file to the um, HTML file. So I can do something like this in order to decorate the web page. So I would like to say that in order to comment the, the, the code in a CSS file, you need to use this pattern, slash, asterisk, and the content, and then we end the comment with an asterisk followed by a forward slash. Okay. So I can change the body font size to 48 pixels. So in order to see the effects, I can go to the Fill menu, and then I choose Horizontal Split. And then I click on index.html file. And then I'm able to show both CSS and HTML files together on the same page. OK, so the body is referring to this um, element shown here. So the characters inside the body will be having this font size, 48 pixels. So suppose I want to see the effects directly. Um, how can I do that? I can simply import the CSS file to the HTML file in an external manner. So how can I do that? I can simply set up a link to the CSS file, which is having this file name style.css. Okay, when I simply enter the link that corresponds to the style sheet by us using the link element, I'm able to see that the words are already changed to a larger font size. Okay. Okay, in addition to the font size, I can change some of the things shown on the web page as well. I can change the paragraph. I can just change the color of the font to blue violet. I can also change the heading color to this one. I mean the font color for the heading to be another color. I can also give the background color of the heading to dark gray, and the font color would stand out a bit easier when I use the dark gray background color for the heading. I also want to change the outlook of the unordered list. So I can also change the numbers for my list into the lower Roman style. So I will see uh, Roman numbers 1 and 2 here. Okay.
so I can have a look at the list again. So the numbers are turned to lower Roman format. So this is one of the ways by using the external style sheet indicated by the link element inside the head of your HTML file. So this is one way. And the other way is by means of the internal style sheet. How can I do that? I can do something like this. I can go to the head again. And inside the head element, I can set up the style directly. So suppose I want to show you an example about the color of the paragraph. Okay, when I add the style inside the head directly, I'm able to change the color of the text to coral color. And you can see that um, at the beginning, the color of the font is blue violet. But when I apply the internal style sheet, I'm able to change the color to coral. It means that the internal style sheet is able to overwrite the external style sheet. So the thing inside the style element is known as the internal style sheet. And the thing by means of the link element is known as the external style sheet. So we can see that the color has changed according to the requirements mentioned in the internal style sheet. And the third way of applying CSS rules to your web page is by means of the inline style sheet. So what does it mean by that? I can simply say something to the element directly. So if I want to change the um, paragraph text to another color, I can do something like this on the opening text of the paragraph element. OK. You can see that the paragraph corresponding to this text is changed to cornflower blue. We can see that um, the, in, uh, the inline style sheet is even able to override the uh, instructions mentioned inside the internal style sheet. So this is an important property of the application of your styles to the web page. So the important message is that um, inline style sheets mentioned inside the opening tag of an element can override both the external and internal style sheets. So we can see that um, the external style sheet has the lowest priority when we um, apply the style sheets. Okay, so this is the important message of my video. The external style sheet has the lowest priority. And the second largest priority comes to the um, internal style sheet shown here. And the most powerful styles comes from the inline style sheet. So we have to remember this order in order to um, understand the mechanism of applying the styles. But if we really have the chances to access the CSS file, we are suggested to simply change everything inside the external style sheet. So external style sheet is the most recommended approach. 
the reason is that people would like to um, maintain the HTML file to just um, putting the elements onto a web page. If you want to change the appearances, you can just concentrate on your decoration of your web pages by using the external style sheet. So this is an, another important message. If you have uh, the privilege just to access the C external CSS file, please use external style sheet as much as possible. So this is the end of the video. We are able to see the ways to apply the CSS files in all the three ways. This is the end of the video. If you have any questions about my video, please leave your questions on the comment section below the video. If you like this video, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.